Hi guys and welcome back to BOTB TV. My name is Christian Williams. And I'm Tim Oldland. And it is all change in the studio today. I've had a haircut, Tim's polished his head, and we've taken away the British theme and we're all about the Geneva Motor Show 2018. Yeah. It's an amazing show. Tim and I got to go along. More on that in a second. But we have added four cars into the headlights this week that Tim and I found at the show. Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, we were like kids in a candy, no, kids in a Toblerone store. <laughs> uh, and it, oh, the, the cars, everything was amazing, wasn't it? It was such a good day, such a good yeah. day. We've actually put our highlights video on our YouTube channel right now. So go on search for that. Well worth a watch. But here's a little tiny clip. Yeah, wicked day there at the Geneva Motor Show. Now, talking of the Motor Show, we have added in four in the headlights cars this week from the show itself. And we start with the top right, shall we, Tim? Because I uh, love this car. Yes, the Mustang Bullet. Yeah. Awesome thing. I mean, we all, we, all, we all like the Mustang anyway, don't we? But this is its everything but better. It's an awesome color. It's got better wheels. It's got a more power. It's got a fruitier exhaust. It sounds amazing. We were chatting to... What was his name? The chief designer. The, the chief, no, the, the chief engineer of the Bullet, yeah. of the Mustang. And I mean, amazing. Love yeah, it. great car. And we move on to the Jaguar. Now, this is the I-Pace. And mm -hmm. this was actually quite a shock to me because I didn't realise how sporty this thing was. It is. I mean, everyone thinks this is an SUV. It's actually, it's really quite low, isn't it? You don't yeah. expect this. But this is, this is, sorry, Tesla. You, you, you're done. This, this, <laughs> this is the new king, you know? Okay, and we move on to this. Now, this is not really a Volvo, but it is a Volvo. It's sort of a Volvo, yeah. yeah. This is the Volvo, no, it isn't. It's the Polestar 1. Polestar are owned by Volvo. Right. That was a Volvo concept car. Either way, 600 horsepower, horsepower? 600 horsepower, carbon body, four-wheel drive, looks amazing. Want one. It ticks pretty much every box, actually. I was really, really shaken up by that car because I was like, oh my God, look, it's a Volvo and I love it. Not really a Volvo, kind of a Volvo. Anyway, exactly. and last but by no means least is this. This is a weapon of a Mercedes. It is, It's. this is the, right, the Mercedes AMG GT 63S four-door coupe. They've had to make it really, really wide, the car. You can see that. And it's just so you can fit the badge across the back. <laughs> In terms of horsepower, it's kind of like a GTR but with four doors. Yeah, yeah, I mean, way more so. It's 630 horsepower. It's the most powerful version of that engine they do. Awesome thing, and four-wheel drive. Wow, incredible. So sticking on the Swiss theme then, we've actually added a watch into the competition this week. This is part of the cash comp. This is the Rolex Sea Dweller. Um, if you dare, you can go to 1,220 meters diving capability. You have to hold your breath for a long time. You do, yeah. It is an absolutely stunning watch. It's worth 8,000 pounds, which is, quite crazy amount of money to have on your wrist. Yes, I wouldn't, but I just, I'd be too scared of losing it, to be honest. But you can win it, and just for yeah. 40p a ticket as well. We've also got this time, uh, we've not got an Apple bundle, we've got a Samsung bundle for those uh, Android users out there. Yeah, well, just keeping things, you know, in the balance from last yeah. week, you with your Apple stuff, we should put some Samsung stuff in. So this is all of this you can win. The brand new Samsung S9 Plus smartphone, 55 inch smart TV, smart speakers, 12 inch Galaxy Book, and a virtual reality headset, and a smartwatch as well. All of that you can win for just 25p. Amazing, do you have to have the phone in pink? You don't, know. Archie Hamilton has ordered one in pink, but of course you can he pick a variety of different colours. Brilliant. Uh, now also adding into the cash comp, have they, are we still calling it the cash comp? We are. For okay. now. For now. We'll, we'll still come up with something better. Uh, we've got BMW motorbikes this week, and we've got the BMW R9T. No, it's, it's R90, uh, the R9 letter T. Okay. That's that one, that's, yep. that's quite nice. Uh, and then we've also got the S1000RR, which is or really, really fast or something. Didn't I don't you make that joke last week? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, Tim, I think you and I are going to need some more motorbike knowledge so we can talk about these. I would it like is. to point out, though, the one on the left, the twin exhaust. Yeah, Good, that right? looks amazing. And I know somebody who has ridden that S1000RR recently. He, like test, he test rode it and said it made him do a little bit of wee. So now into some BOTB car news and it is all about the Honda Civic Type R. You hear that? That is Vicky screaming in the office because she loves the Civic Type R. A little bit too much actually. Uh, so we've given away our second Civic in the space of four weeks. Yeah, it's amazing. They're like buses. You know, you wait ages for one and then two come along at the same time. Like buses just with a bit more aero. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> William Heath went up to Honda Virtue to go and collect his brand new Type R and here's how it went. 
Hello, my name is William Heath. I'm here at Honda Virtue to collect my Civic Type R that I won through BATB. Right, let's go, let's go yeah, refill your new car. Everything you've, been, everything you've been dreaming of, innit? <laughs> Definitely, mate. Obviously, all the carbon fibre stuff here. It looks, makes it look a lot better than a normal, oh, yeah. than a normal oh, Civic. Oh, yeah. Those big Brembo brakes you got there. Yeah. Called Vortex Generators, yeah. and that's just there to control how the air flows over it, so you're getting the most, most, most amount of downforce. So yeah, let's jump in then, let's yeah, jump and show you, show you inside. So you've got three modes, you've got Comfort, you've got Sport, and you've got Plus R. 320 horsepower. I still feel that it's not, not quite real, it's not quite hit me yet, um, but I've been so excited for the last kind of three weeks. I knew it was a car that I really liked, and obviously that I could use daily. Thanks to BOTB, bye bye. Yeah, that is a pretty crazy looking car. It is. And speaking of crazy looking cars, see how I did that there? Nice segue. Yes, uh, there were lots of crazy looking cars in Geneva at the motor show, they weren't were. there? So uh, here are a few of them. So here at the Geneva Motor Show 2018, as well as the standard manufacturers, you also have a few people that customise cars. So we yes. thought we'd give you the craziest cars of the Motor Show 2018. Mansory Stallone. Adrian! I'm a bit of a tart when it comes to interiors. Not a big fan of this, but you are. It's very, very yellowy cream, would you call it? I wouldn't even know what to call that colour, Tim, if I'm being completely it's, honest. It's, it's, it's a colour, and whatever colour it is, it's the same colour all over the inside as well. Yeah. Everywhere. Look at this thing. It's big and it's scary and it's got a great name as well. This is the Brabus Adventure 4x4. This is your go-to apocalyptic survival vehicle. And I just think this event store is so crazy, so outrageous, that it's awesome. So that was just some of the crazy cars that Geneva Motor Show 2018 had to offer. Yeah, that's right. We, we walked around expecting to mock everything. And you know what? We actually found ourselves liking quite a lot of the cars <laughs> yeah. there, which I think just makes us wrong, and doesn't it? It does, probably, yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't be the Geneva Motor Show without the weird and wonderful. And Tim and I were there as well, so all boxes ticked. <laughs> Um, we need to announce the winner of our weird car news competition from a couple of weeks ago. Ah uh, yes, episode 14 of BOTB TV, we asked you for the chance to win £50 in dream car credit to tell us the weirdest car news you've ever come across and we had some interesting entries. Yes, I've got a few of them here, I'm just going to, no, can't, no. <laughs> you, you, Definitely you, not you, that one. You know who you are yeah. and that's wrong. Weird. Okay, no, no, definitely not. But we do okay. have a winner. Yeah, we do. Uh, there's only one winner, and this is Georgia Gardner. Uh, and she's pointed out this news from November of last year from a guy in America. Uh, goodness me. He was led on a 20-mile police chase, and nice. when he was finally caught, he did a bit of a funky dance. I've seen those moves before, Tim. Christmas party, ring any bells? Yeah, he's stolen my moves. He has, yeah. Congratulations, Georgia. Well done. £50 is in your account right now. And moving on, because we love competitions, we're going to actually just continue with competitions. We're giving you the chance to win five lots of £100 Dream Car credit. So Five lots of 100 Five lucky people will win £100 of credit to put in their account. We've teamed up with TGE this week because he's just hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So congratulations, Tom. Well done. Amazing. All you have to do to be in the chance to win one of these five lots of 100 quid is to go to botv.com forward slash tge click a button and you're in the pot that's it it's as simple as just that. press a button yeah no no silly questions and and things about cockney rhyming slang that we know nothing no, about exactly yeah it's easy this week so good luck if you're entering that yes. that's pretty much it so if you've enjoyed the video please do give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe so you can see all the latest stuff that we're bringing you here on the botv youtube channel and we'll see you again next week cheers bye bye <laughs>